Hello. I hope you're doing very, 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 very well today. It is actually snowing and uh, Kentuckians are apparently so bad with snow that the threat of a light dusting today uh, made the schools close, decide to close, la like they announced it last night that they were closing today, so. Snow here is so rare. And I think we've only had one other smoking in the snow video. Oh, it's like, I can't pass this up. And uh, let's just not, let's just not talk about the country western hat. Maybe I'm wearing it in defiance of the snow, I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, well, see, this is particularly nice because I ran out of basically all cigarettes I enjoy yesterday, and so I was, <laughs> just like scraping together things to smoke um like I smoked some menthols which were just almost worse than not smoking at all and then I smoked some camel Turkish royals which are fine but they're stubby short stubby and don't really taste like the good like toasty taste I like in cigarettes so this is the first lucky strike I've had in almost two days and it's hello old friend you and this cigarette it's been a man when I start smoking menthols you know it's gone I mean I was smoking the camel crushes the ones that are menthol and then you can like crush the ball and then make them even more menthol -y. so of course I wasn't crushing the ball I was just doing the low-key menthol, but it was still, I don't know, I just do not enjoy menthol. I know they're talking about stopping carrying it, um, which I don't really agree with because it's like, it's, I mean, if you're old enough to smoke, you can be old enough to de determine that. And it's even like, maybe, maybe to some people, it's a really appealing minty flavor, but like, it's not even really like fl a flavored cigarette. That's why they say they're gonna stop selling it because it like angles toward kids. But that would be, it's, it's harder to smoke one of those than a regular cigarette. I just don't see that as being an actual problem, but I guess I haven't done any research, so I don't really know. I'll have to stay out of the politics of cigarettes. You can't tell if I'm exhaling, breathing my own breath or exhaling smoke. This is actually more snow than I thought we were going to get. There's a stick, a little stick right there that's like a fourth of the way covered. What are we gonna do? I saw, I saw uh, snow trucks. They're like, I guess they're, they're gonna plow this. <laughs> <laughs> like ice truck, like we just don't know. And whatever people are driving in this, they're just like going like five miles an hour, which is, it's good to go slower when it snows, but like it's almost more dangerous when you go that slow. I mean, you can still slide in it, but. I think the most snow I've ever probably driven in was my grandfather died in December, like six, seven years ago. And so he had his funeral and it was a blizzard and it was in Iowa. So like we, we had the funeral and then we went to the grave site and it was just a blizzard. Like there was a little tent and then like the very closest people that went there afterwards and just, just angled, just driven crazy snow. So that was interesting.
interesting. And even though like the roads were not good, he had specifically requested to be driven by the farm that him and my grandmother ran their whole lives. So that was more driving in the snow. And my grandmother did the same thing when she died to be driven by the farm. I really want to take just a road trip up there. I mean, I guess it would end with like visiting their graves, but there are so many cool towns in Iowa. It'd be, it would be fun. It'd be a fun summer trip to go. Cause like there's the little uh, Amana colonies, which the whole time I was growing up, I thought were Amish colonies, but it's actually just like a little artisan town that a lot of Amish people live near. So I'd always see Amish people in it, but it's not actually an Amish colony. My favorite pin is from there. It's shaped like an ear of corn. I keep changing out the ink in the middle. Be a good little little mecca to a part of Iowa I spent a lot of time in. Yeah, I think the sign on their town says population of like 310, which is probably way less now. You're probably cursing me for not bringing gloves, and I'm also cursing me for not bringing gloves. I'm a Kentuckian, okay? I'm not used to the snow. I didn't know it would be cold. <laughs> That's my excuse. Even though there is such a small amount, it's already making it, making the sound dampened and quieter. I mean, I have noise canceling headphones in, but even when they're not in, it's, it's funny how just a little bit can absorb a lot. I could try to make that into a that's what she said joke, but it's... Made my hand warmer. That's smart. I'm gonna switch smoking hands. This one's gonna get to go in the pocket. Out of pocket. on the hunt for worms lately because apparently there is a worm shortage and my axolotls the little like lizard fish creature that I keep alive I have two of them eat worms and so I went to feeder supply to get you know, my my Tuesday worm run there were no worms I was upset not really upset curious about what I was going to feed them. So I came home and dug under stones and apparently it's so cold that the worms got deeper and they're only slugs and I don't think I can feed them slugs. They're very close to axolotl consistency as they are, as slugs are, so kind of be like feeding them baby axolotls. I'm not sure. I don't think they can eat slugs. But that's my big problem right now, finding worms. I have blood worms in the freezer, so I guess I'll just feed them that, but they're not really supposed to live off of that. They might crawl out of their tank and kill me. Also, when I pick up Susan, the squirrel that bit me, I'm going to ask the taxidermist if he can go ahead and order axolotl taxidermist forms, because they've got to, you've got to be able to taxidermy those suckers. They're kind of like frogs or fish or something 
And I mean, not now, not while they're alive, but when they die, that would be a really cool thing to have taxidermied. And it's not really the kind of thing that they would just like have on hand. But I'm pretty sure the old dude in the cabin in Southern Indiana with his sexist jokes will not know what the fuck an axolotl is. I'd be like, you're telling me that it's not a deer, it's not a bear, it's not a squirrel, and it's not a bass. Like, it's none of those things. And he'll be like, well, shoot. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm simultaneously thinking about how to keep them alive and what to do with them when they die. Little lady. I should pick, I should wear this out when I pick up Susan. It'll blend. It's not really Western, but it is country. Country Western. Birds are like, oh shit, two weeks ago it was 72 and now it's snowing. We stopped flying south because we thought this was warm enough. There are no worms here, you guys are fucked. I guess I, sh I could go buy like raw salmon or raw squid and cut it up and feed that to the axolotl. But then what if they never wanna go back to regular worms, these snotty axolotls? They'll eat when they get hungry enough. Axe is snottle. Snot a lotle. I'm wearing my hunter boots because this is good weather for hunter boots and thick socks. I'm getting a, not a mudlarking license. There are two different licenses that you have to get from the country of England. At, um, I've discovered a big bucket list thing of mine is um, mudlarking. And so there are two licenses. Mudlarking actually allows you to like dig much deeper and they're not issuing those there right now. But there's another one I forget. It's not scavenger. It's like something else that like only lets you dig like seven centimeters down or something. I don't want to dig down anyway. I just want to look at the top, but I'm going to get one of those for this summer so I don't do it and then get arrested by the British authorities for picking up sea glass and old beads. And apparently it's like, mudlarking is much more dangerous than I realized. Like the tides go in and out at very rapid rates. So there are like very set places you can do it and it has the tides written and lists. So I won't, face my demise by mudlarking. I want to visit England. I don't want to die there. It'd be very inconvenient for my ghost because I would not know what was going on. I wouldn't know any British things. I think that would be a fun video. And Kelly said she would be open to doing it. So we'll have a video of me wandering around the Thames, the Thames, Th Thames River, picking at things. 
probably smoking and picking at things. But I'll probably need to bring these boots because I don't think any of the heeled things I'm bringing to wear out into meetups and stuff would be appropriate for mud. When we finish this one, I'm going in because I love you, but I am fucking cold. Something very relaxing while watching the snowfall. I keep getting distracted. I just don't see snow falling very often. Oh, I've had someone ask for me to blow smoke through a scarf before, and normally that is not something I've set up for, but I'll do it with this. Oh god, do it with a Burberry scarf. Yeah, let's do that. I'm sorry. We'll do it once. It's getting much more snow than this. Maybe all winter. The plants are going to be upset though. My hydrangeas had started budding. And I was like, shit, it's not spraying. Don't do it. I didn't understand. I heard that in some parts of Kentucky, daffodils had started coming up. Like in December. They're going to be robbed of nutrients and extremely angry when spring actually comes. I mean, it's January now, but I heard that a couple weeks ago when it had been in the 70s. My monster has icy This is not, this is not enough to crunch. If we get a lot of snow, I'll do like a snow crunching video, but I don't know. I don't think that's gonna happen. All the milk and bread gone in all the supermarkets because Kentuckians every time, I don't know, maybe all Americans, every time like there's the slightest forecast of snow, everyone runs and buys milk and bread.
Maybe that's a universal human thing. I don't know. Thank you for hanging out with me in the freezing cold, and I hope you're doing very well, and I will see you next time.